All right, so had an intense evening, and um, I'm gonna call Papio Daniel. Let him know I've moved out of the apartment. I'm gonna see where he takes it. Let's see if I can tie off yet another loose end this evening. I think I. Uh, read punctuation and closed a book on one of the most fantastic relationships I've ever had this evening. Maybe the first time I've really done that with, with someone I care about that I'm no longer going to be with. It wasn't like a dot 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 or there's a beautiful last line and some blank pages to follow that you over there when you close the book you're satisfied with it being shut Didn't, don't want any more from it don't need any more from it it's over um, there might be another series or something, but that book is done. Those characters have been played out. <clears throat> so, I'm going to call Papio Daniel. That's the landlord who essentially kicked me out of the apartment when I had the um, nerve to let him know that he had illegally allowed entry into my apartment when, if you've kept up with any of these videos, I had two maintenance men uh, enter my building while I was sleeping. Uh, I had the day off. It was 10 o'clock or something. I don't remember. It was something like that. They didn't expect me to be there. They hadn't notified me that they were coming. They didn't care. They had a key. I heard a knock. And before I could get out of bed, well, I was out of bed. Before I could get out of my room, they were, had entered my apartment. They gave me no, no time to even answer the door, and I had two strangers entering my building. And it was an awkward standoff of, of what am I up to? And I'm I'm in a I'm in a haze, and thankfully. Nothing was too crazy and nothing nothing bad happened and, and I didn't respond too defensively. I gave a pretty harsh who the fuck are you kind of thing. What the fuck are you doing in here? Just like but it was it was this it was a standoff for sure. And um it was illegal. So I let the landlord know that he he that what he did was illegal and so his response was to kick me out of the building. He gave, he, his immediate response was that I needed to leave. Uh, and I, I videotaped it. Videotaped it. I did a screen recording of it and um, of the phone call afterwards where he informed me that I needed to leave. <sighs> gave me some bullshit excuses about things. It's worth noting that he says that my apartment is a strategic Thing for the maintenance that he's got to do and I believe him that he has to do this maintenance because I can see the columns starting to spread from the building but I have to say that I've been a tenant that's paid my rent on time for nearly a year no hang-ups and that there have been three different tenants in the apartment adjacent from me on the same level he had has had plenty of opportunity to have a, uh, a vacant building in which maintenance crew can use as a landing point or, 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 or a launch, launch pad or whatever to use the restroom, to use this to go in and out, to access things. It's complete, utter bullshit that he needs my apartment vacant. It's strictly a matter of he... 
slinging, slinging his authority around and, and, and stuffing some untouchable fucking cockroach and letting, and reminding me that it's his fucking building and that he does what he wants. And, uh, at this point I'm a little nervous that he's going to play hardball with me. Thankfully I've documented a fair amount of this and I've got him on phone talking about how I'm able to break the lease if if I need to beforehand. So I found a place to live, a pretty amazing place, here I am. It's temporary but it's a fucking spectacular space. And I uh, finally got the fuck out of my apartment. I've got to go over there and, you know, clean the floors and stuff. And, the ex-girlfriend helped me with that, and that's what I was kind of talking about before. We kind of really hashed out some heavy-duty shit, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of drained at the moment. But I'm going to call Papio Daniel. I'm going to tell him what's up as far as my getting out of there, and then I'm going to see what he wants to do about it. If he wants rent from me, he can fuck off because he doesn't nerve anything. If he wants to prorate a few days for this month, that's fair. I'll give him, give him what he, you know, the prorated thing. <clears throat> so, here we go. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if he's even going to answer his phone at this point. It's uh, in the evening. It's around supper time. <sighs> this guy is probably, you know, yelling at his wife to bring him his TV fucking dinner at this point. I feel really fucking hate this guy. I dislike this guy. Alright, we're calling him back. Hi, Mrs. Powell, this is Ryan Broman. I'm a tenant of your husband's, I believe, and um, I'd like to speak to him about the uh, Cleveland Street 402. Hello? She hung up on me. Hello? Hey, is this Mr. Powell? Tom Powell. Tom Powell. Hey, this is Ryan Broman. I'm 402 Cleveland Street, Apartment 4. Yeah. So, I just want to let you know that I've cleaned up the place. I've got a few things that I need to, to, to grab out of there and just, I'm going to uh, dust the floors, dust things a little bit, but I'm vacating the premises very, very shortly. I, I'll be, you'll be clear to get in there, I guess, tomorrow. And I was wanting to talk to you about exactly how you wanted to handle everything and uh, see if you let me move on and, and we, can, we can part ways and see how things are going. Yeah, you can move on, yeah. All right. I don't owe, I don't owe you any rent for this month. Well, I'll have to come by and take a look at it see if you cleaned it up right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's oh, in good shape. Hmm? Uh, you didn't pay rent this month? No, sir. He's, I, uh... He said I could break the break the lease. I found a spot and just kind of coincided. I was trying to get out of there before the the first, but just trying to make sure I cleaned it up right and did did you did you right? Made sure the place wasn't a mess when I got out of there. Well, I need. Not living in there. I am not living in there any longer. All right. Well, I'll take a look at it, right? Yeah, you can take a look at it. It's unlocked. I'll drop off the keys. Um, you know, you can go in there. There's there's a couple items in there, and I do need to to you know. Clean it up just a little bit. Uh, you know, I've got like a not, nothing major in there, but I'm definitely not in there any longer. And I, I'll, I'll keep it uh, for the you know the remainder of the evening. I'm gonna spend kind of tidying it up as much as I can and uh, get it get in good shape for your maintenance crew. Well, yeah, let me know when you're completely finished, then I'll send my thing to lady Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, That's what I usually do. Yeah, we can do that probably tomorrow. I'm I'm gonna tidy it up as best I can tonight. And uh, uh, I enjoyed living there, and I uh, sorry to move on, and I hope your uh, hope your maintenance goes well, and I know it's a pain in the ass, but uh, yeah, I hope you found a good 
place. I found a great spot, man. Does it have a porch? Hey, yeah, it's got two porches, a front one and a back one. That's great. Yeah. All right, sir. Bye again. Good night. Bye. Bye. Fucking cocksucker. Well, that went well. A little courtesy, I guess. I got more class than that motherfucker I ever have. But anyway, he at least sort of <sighs> let me go. God damn it, he let me go. Thank goodness. All right, folks. Tying off loose ends this evening. I got to organize the new room because I got nothing but boxes in the place. I'll just stuff everything in there for now and I'm going to go to the river and I'm going to fucking get drunk as shit. Smoke some pot. Maybe. I don't know if it's around. I'll smoke it. I don't have any. I never have any. But I'll probably smoke a little pot. Smoke a joint by the river. Go skinny dipping. Maybe breathe on a girl's neck. God damn it, man. God damn it.